thinking about a great example of passion for the community, I just think there's no one better fitting than Dr. Mike to get this award in honor of Don Wolf. I see him as a man of faith who has lived out his convictions and has had a heart for those who really needed a hand. And so from a medical standpoint, he has given more to this community than I think people will ever realize. But his real accomplishment comes after he retires, when he, you know, with the Matthew 25 um, and with the Big Brothers Big Sisters and all of the volunteerism he has done um, really has been where he has shined and where this community is very lucky to have him. I think that he's really made Matthew 25 a great resource for our community and been able to provide care for thousands of people in this community that would have not otherwise had health care. I think that his work with Big Brothers Big Sisters is really an extension of that idea to serve a community, to serve the whole community. It seems like he's at a, a board meeting uh, three or four afternoons a week uh, and then he has meetings in the evening. He's just, just deeply involved in uh, community affairs. The three words that I would use to describe Dr. Mike are caring, thoughtful, and convicted. He's convicted at doing excellence in everything that he does. And the thing I love about him is he brings out the best in all those around him. I would describe Dr. Mike as humble, as loyal, and I would describe him as a servant leader. I would say this very professional, very dedicated to the cause he's uh, tried to do, um, and always a gentleman. Uh, he, he has truly been one of my biggest mentors. I have learned so much about, not just about health care, but, but how to treat people. Um, I, as I watch him, um, caring for not only the patients and the staff and the volunteers at the clinic, but I've also seen him, you know, as, as he interacts with his own family, and, and he is such a caring, loving man. And I want to tell Mike that I had never seen anyone who was so able to handle his work and his family. I mean, he continually, no matter how hard he was working or what he was doing, communicated with Grace and the kids and always made room for both, no matter how busy he was. And that, that impressed me then and impresses me now. I think one of Mike's greatest accomplishments is to show, to show that a person with a very busy career can also have time for the community. I just, I'm so delighted that Mike is getting this award and want to congratulate him. I think he's very deserving and this is a great honor. Well, for you, Dr. Mike, I want to thank you for the trust that you've uh, put in me and bringing me here to Fort Wayne. I want to thank you for all that you've done for the Fort Wayne Philharmonic and for the Fort Wayne community and certainly give you my heartfelt congratulations on this well-deserved honor. Dr. Mike, I would just like to share with you that I really thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of everyone associated with Big Brothers Big Sisters. You know, you've been involved for so long in the past 40 years to make this organization what it is. At a time in your life when you don't have to, you've stepped up and you've joined a committee to go out and help us secure the future of this organization for the next 40 years. So there's no better person to get the Donald Award this year than Dr. Mike Mastrangelo.